I just finished watching my last video and you could tell that I've lost a lot of weight, especially in my face. Hello, Michael here, and I know it's been a while since I've created a video, but I want to try getting back into the swing of things. In reality, I want to get back into making one video every Friday, at least a weight loss vlog. Primarily, I want to get back into making videos as it helps me to keep motivated. This week I've been doing really good with keeping a schedule, and I want to start scheduling these videos to happen every Friday, so. Secondly, I want to start getting back into the videos as to have a running record of myself. It was quite shocking to look back when I weighed 237 pounds, I can't remember exactly. How much it was but which is great because today i weigh 222.2 so i know it's only like a little over 15 pounds but there's a huge difference between what i look like now and what i looked like back in january and i know i didn't really uh stick to my goal and uh dress up as a superhero for halloween but i did dress up as the lone survivor from fallout 4 not exactly in the superhero that i was going for but it worked and lastly i want to get back into making videos because i enjoy making them it's kind of fun sitting in front of a camera having to make jump cuts because my brain goes too fast and then my mouth doesn't keep up. Plus I pay for Adobe Premiere every month and that's with my uh, Photoshop package so I might as well use it. I mean shit it's an extra 20 some bucks a month. So right now my current weight is 222 pounds. Then this week I especially lost 4 pounds because I started off at 226 on Monday. What did I do to lose 4 pounds this week? Well mostly I kept my net 600 calorie diet that I use with uh, my Fitbit and my fitness pal. Secondly, I play the Xbox Connect every morning from about 35 to 40 minutes. And I've been working towards my December goal of getting back into being in the top 1,000 of exercise.com. I'll get into more of that here in a minute. Now, even though I didn't meet my goal for Halloween, I still don't think that I failed. Yeah, I know, 15 pounds inside of 11 months really isn't stellar progress. But look at it this way. I didn't balloon back up to 290. Even with a half-assed effort, I was still able to lose a few pounds here and there. Well not going overboard with uh, ballooning back up which is great because during Halloween Thanksgiving I kind of sucked on the diet so what's my focus for this coming up week well first of all I want to start trying to reclaim my position on exercise.com now at some point during the year I'm not exactly sure when I lost my position on uh, during the rank here on exercise.com at one point I was in within the top 1000 but my position slipped at Monday I was at 1100 today I'm at 1095 so this week I've been putting in a lot of effort to try to reclaim all that. See, I got all my points here from air bicycles, resistance bands, incline push-ups. I'm up to 711 points for the workout for yesterday. I haven't recorded today's yet because normally I wait until about 8.45 before I log on my workout. But exercise.com kind of keeps me engaged because it has a bit of a competitive atmosphere to it. Like there's thousands of people that use the website. And I was uh, ranking pretty high and that was back when I was uh, visiting a gym pretty regularly unfortunately today i don't have that opportunity i the closest gym to me is like 10 miles away and since exercise.com puts more effort into weighted workouts it's stuff like the resistance band curl and uh the tricep kickbacks anything with dumbbells um deadlifts bench press anything that actually has weight to it is where you get most of your points and a lot of the stuff that i do at home are body weight workouts like incline push-ups air bicycle um, planks stuff like that you don't get a lot of points for those the points that I earn are pretty much all centered around my resistance bands at least until I can get to the gym this week I want to focus more on core workouts as well when I did the 15 reps for the air bicycle I felt like I was gonna throw up not to mention it's more of the core that I need to work on anyway that's where most of my fat is at the moment like my arms and my legs are looking pretty good I'm also figuring on doing more training to break more of my personal records one of the things I like about exercise.com is that it saves all of my records for all the workouts that I do. So like that 15 reps of the air bicycle was my max. Exercise.com will timestamp that and it'll always be on my uh, profile. So by the end of December, I hope to shatter that record. And lastly, this week, I'm gonna work on more stretching. Like yesterday, my back was pretty tense and that might be because of the crappy bed that I sleep on. Which means I'm gonna start putting a little bit more effort into yoga, like the different stretches there. Mostly because I have back and knee problems anyway. So I figure anything that's gonna help me feel better is gonna be good. This week, I also want to change my diet up just a little bit. This week, I want to try to eat no carbs after 8 p.m. This is so that my body can burn off the carbs that I already ate from earlier that day. Not sure if it'll work much, but it's going to be a nice uh, little side study for myself. If it works, then awesome. If not, then I'll change it to something else. The thing I want to do on my diet is add more water. I find that the days that I drink more water are the days I lose the most weight. 
And even though I'm quite caffeinated throughout the day, it's actual water that'll be the most beneficial. I stopped drinking pop like a long time ago. I don't even miss it. Normally that's because I buy the Kirkland brand waters from Costco. But since I have so much coffee in the morning, I don't really need the caffeine from soda pop. In fact, I can't even remember the last time that I bought a case of pop. So that's going to do it for today. Nothing fancy, just a simple vlog on uh, my fitness progression. Not quite sure what I want to do with the channel yet. I would like to add more stuff. My plate's pretty full as it is. Like Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I want to try keeping up with the uh, Rider Sanctuary videos. Fridays are pretty much the only day that I have to make these. Unless I can get to the point where I can monetize the channel and go full time. But I'm a far cry from that. Anyway, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll see you next week.